and because and because the ascending aorta is moving towards the right so that is why it has anterior relations with the right lung and the right pleura um, as well as the as, as you might imagine right so it is interesting that these are the relations that you you may not have imagined but to reiterate most of the relations are from the right side of the thorax including the right auricle the infundibulum of the right ventricle um, as well as uh, we basically have the pulmonary trunk which is overlapping the root of it is overlapping somewhat now if we talk about the posterior relations we have a sinus of the pericardium known as the transverse sinus of the pericardium we also have the right pulmonary artery we can see the pulmonary trunk over here and at this point it bifurcates into the left which moves in this direction and has no relations with the ascending aorta but the right one because the because this itself is moving towards the right does have a relation as in the right pulmonary artery is posterior to it another relation is the right bronchus over here you can see the trachea and at the level of the sternal angle which is about the level at which the two the ascending aorta and the arch become continuous it bifurcates into the right and the left bronchus the left moves in this direction has no relation but the right bronchus is behind the ascending aorta now if we talk about the relations towards the left and towards the right the right is obvious we have the superior vena cava and we have the right atrium towards the left we have the left atrium and we also have part of the pulmonary trunk now this is interesting pulmonary trunk below basically because the pulmonary trunk actually comes off of the right ventricle whereas the aorta ascending aorta comes off of the left ventricle and their orientation is somehow reversed.